Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've been working on the wagon. I haven't been really recording much. I've actually just done this last night and today. I took a break on the uh, the rear end with the motors. Trying to get the uh, the axles all welded up so the tires actually turn on the motors. I screwed up a motor. I got to order another one. There was one on eBay. I got to order this week coming up. So that will be ready to go. Um, I just actually got done making the grill out of an old wagon half a wagon and believe it or not the insert there my neighbors in between our two garages over there was actually thrown out a refrigerator and this is actually the coolant part off the back of the refrigerator to keep the refrigerator cool which actually doesn't like have bad it's kind of neat because i got the cooler up there as you can tell i got the brand new edelbrock uh air filter sitting on the top chrome i got that brand new but i put a fan on it and it actually Worked out pretty good because you can actually see the fan through, which is pretty neat. The exhaust, I just got done welding with the exhaust. I got to cut them all straight now. As you can tell, they're all jagged, kind of like the old cooler. But um, that's probably about as long, about as big as the exhaust I'm going to go with on this. I was going to go longer, but since he's driving around, it's going to be going kind of fast. There's going to be a little kids running around. I don't want to be staying too far so the kids get uh, cut or whatever. But I did wind up actually putting pieces in i got this all squared away this is all even all the way across it's all level this uh just you know regular flat steel cut a template out weld it up this here i still got to fully weld in once i figure out what i'm doing with the windshield frame right now i got the pvc pipe sitting in there i got some uh plexiglass ac or acrylic whatever you want to call it sitting there so i can cut that out as soon as i no work but that's gonna sit uh, my next thing is this piece here is actually gonna go right here for the soft top I gotta run a piece down and do like another metal insert so it slides into it but it's gonna be sitting right about there so if you get the idea on how the soft top's gonna work it's gonna Y off hold it up in two places and then from here down there'll be nothing and then there'll be clips that will all clip into and there are going to be buttons back here they're going to snap everything into so the soft top stays on the back is actually a different wagon it's actually not the same wagon there's the wagon that the grill came out of there's the wagon that the truck bay came out of i'm debating whether to make it wider or not probably not going to because i just ordered headlights that are coming or tail lights that are coming off the side here or motorcycle lights around ones they should be here any day i did order half the steering yes half the steering you heard that right the steering half i actually ordered is just the uh part just for the mount the steering wheel because i gotta get that figured out before i can even order you know the shaft and any further else um in the front i gotta cut the front off the wagon part yeah i'm waiting for that to be last just in case if i gotta drop this roll it out of the way i'm not Having to just carry, I can actually just pull it if I have to. But I still got to order headlights. I got to order the rest of the steering. Um, got to find somebody to uh, make the soft top once it's all done and squared away. I just went, I got the paint to actually paint it today. Now the wagon, the wagon, listen to me. I keep calling it a wagon because it was a wagon, guys. And this is actually going to be a go car now. But I am making the wagon. Uh, oh wait it's not in here i do have another wheelbarrow tub i'm actually making a wagon for my other son my newborn to where his car seat's actually going to clip into it but the, it's going to be the same thing as the other wagon but it's just going to have a car seat in it instead of a regular seat i'm actually going to use the parts off the old one i know i should just kept this one the way it was redid it for my other son and just build a completely different wagon but i'm already this far into it i figured might as well just finish this once this is finished my son could enjoy it when I'm building the other one. My goal is to actually get all this done before middle of June. That's when Father's Day is. Uh, my area, we have a Father's Day car show, a big one. I kind of want to take both of my sons to it. Um, I don't have a classic car, as you guys know, but at least they could take these and they could show them off and have a good time and talk to the other kids. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are uh, stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. And if you guys have any comments on how to wire up this thing, because I am 
like throwing so many things around in my head right now on how to get this thing wired because I don't know how it is with that computer I have from the Jazzy. If anybody's from Northeast Pennsylvania, that's where I'm located. I'll even pay you guys to wire this thing up. All I need to do is go forward and back. And if you guys are wondering, like I said, if you guys are stopping for this first time, uh, of course, I can't find anything because I've been just working and throwing stuff everywhere. But if you guys don't know how the controller looks, the controller is actually in the previous video. Um... If you guys need an idea, if you guys know how to wire, that's going to be the controller that is for the wagon. <sighs> Why do I keep calling it a wagon? It's not a wagon. It's a go-kart. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.